Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Stock Analyst. What a day, what a day today we had. We made a massive amount of money, like all of the shares, all of the things I was talking about, we made money and especially for SNDL, you see today we were up 13% and even after our we are up close to 4%. So things are looking really good. So this particular video is about SNDL because I want to talk about some of the things. And if you can remember in my last video on May 31st, I talked about four catalysts that can affect the share price very soon. And I'm so happy that actually it's working. Also in the morning, I talked about the skills. I talked about it around $19. It went all the way to 23. I talked about AMC. We know 100% gain. Talked about BlackBerry. It was around $13. Then playing some call option. It was a great day. We went almost 16.5. Talked about KOSS. We entered around 25 area and went all the way to 40 and then so on. Then what we have BBBY, we have SDCE. And why I'm showing all of this? Because now this is the time when short sellers are getting burned whichever stock has higher short interest ratio they are getting burned and SNDL comes here right so also in my last video you can see that on the day of 28th of may the short ratio was 37 percent and still when i look at fintel as of yesterday the short volume ratio is 33 percent still very very high when I looked at um, BlackBerry, when I looked at KOSS, they are around 22% and SNDL, Sundial, still 33%, right? So it's still a lot of short, anything can happen. And if you remember what happened last time, um, you can see that we, we, we went, right? We went all the way to $4, right? Then we came down and I have been making videos on SNDL for some, some time, right? We came down all the way to 72 in my last video i talked about one dollar resistance we passed that resistance and in post market we are 1.18 what's next if we can we if we can break 1.25 we will head towards 1.42 and then we will head towards 1.6 and if we can break 1.6 this thing will run for three to four dollar for sure so very exciting period some of the stock has gain like 50% look at AMC like 100% a blackberry 31% KOSS 68% PPBY 62% so you can see like what's happening and I think it is just getting started for sundial so still there is more room because it's still 33% short interest and you can also see the volume today the volume is normally 248 million and today's volume was 387 million so more and more volumes are coming and coming so I will talk about the price action and also some call and also some report. And if you find this video useful, please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Normally I make some videos in the morning on, and also time to time I post some um, Twitter feed, sometime on stock with, sometime on my community tab for my YouTube profile. I post some, with some pictures what's happening, what's the price target. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please join if you want to get some free information. I do not have a discord yet but i probably will start a discord channel soon so where you can get and we can all chat together but anyway i'm not here to advertise myself i just want to talk about SNDL because i'm super pumped after our looking great and i think we are ready for a plus very very soon so anyway if we can hold this area 1.18 and 1.25 if we gain 1.25 then 1.4 to 1.65 there's the plan i'm just holding i'm not gonna sell anything okay keep that in mind 33 percent is today it's june 1st so again i will check tomorrow maybe it will reduce because shorts they have to cover but keep that in mind one thing that on the date the short volume was 230 million okay and now the short volume is 100 million so short volume has decreased from 320 to uh, 100 so that is one thing also look at the volume now few important thing i want to talk about the call option and why i'm still very very bullish so look at the call option here which expires in two days the expiration date for june 4th and look at the numbers here so still there are 116,000 open interest for a strike of one and look what happened here for 1.5 strike today 123,000 volumes are closed but it's still 82,000 shares are waiting so 
so these people are 1 plus 0.5 is 1.15 so this amount they are still waiting because they are bullish that it will be over 1.15 and also these guys their strike price is 1.5 and still they are waiting for in for last two days i don't know what uh, yes a big amount has closed their position but still 82000 they are waiting so i want to really see what's happening is in next two days are we expecting 1.5 i don't know we will see also look at 16th of july call options and it's also looking good look at the volume the open interest here six dollar strike has a 13000 call option five dollar strike 10000 call option Four is strike 57,000 call option is still open this is open right they are not closed look at three strike price 47,000 look at two strike price 67,000 and 1 1.5 86,000 yes these are close 1.5 and 2 but what about these like four strike price five six so people are betting big money are waiting and they are expecting this thing to go to four dollar five dollar six dollars so very very exciting if you're playing with call option then yes volatility is important so things can go either way but if you're playing with share just hold just hold till it get, goes to six dollar ten dollar i'm not going to talk about any price target but i just want to show you that how many call options are sitting at different strike price so that you can get an idea what people are projecting okay so that is very very important also also look here if I look at today's price action from instead of two hour, let me look at five minute period and I'm going to open um, the pre-market and after hours, right? So you can see the entire day, like from the very beginning, we were 97 cent. That was the resistance. We moved sideways for $1. Then again, there is a push. Again, we move sideways, sideways. Then again, there is a push. Even after hour, after the push, we are maintaining that one. So it is very interesting to see how we finish the after hour market and what is the pre-market. If we go over 1.25, boom, we will see. Anyway, some other things you need to know, the sandal growers, basically we know they have 1.1 billions of cash. So many reports are coming. So they are finding their ways to spend that 1.1 billion cash. But the one I liked is June 2nd today. It came this morning, 6.25 a.m. Will sandal growers willing and dealing pay off? and maybe you know but just want to talk some of the things they are doing and why the company is busy so they made a strategic investment of 22 million canadian dollar in indiva which makes edible cannabis product in addition of buying shares of the company sandal will also provide indiva with a term loan facility it created a joint venture sunstream bank corp with self group the venture is 50 50 split right so initially sandal initially invested 100 million in march and increased that to 188 million just a month later so it was 100 million then they added another 88 million right it also acquired shares of valence for just under 2 million together with its previous purchase sandal now owns more than 10 percent of the business and why it is important Valence is a cannabis extension company that has generated 72 million in revenue over a trade in 12 months. That is good. And SNDL has more than 10% of their business. Its most recent acquisition was on May 5th when Sandal announced it would acquire all of the shares of cannabis retailer Inner Spirit in a cash and stock deal worth 131 million Canadian dollars. Inner Spirit has 86 stores across Canada and plans to hit 100 as early as this summer last year the company reported 27 million in revenue so you can see how sandal they are very busy they are acquiring they are making partnership and they have 1 billion cash in hand so you can see like they are doing something right at the same time just a long term thing they are doing something at this in the near term look at the short interest look at the price action look at the other stock look at the market and i think this is the time we rise and we shine i talked about Another thing that on June 4th, there is a cannabis uh, conference and the CEO Jack will be talking about it. So I think the conference he will talk at, um, around 12 o'clock. So that can bring some catalyst and also the share price is over $1. So the deal, NASDAQ deal is still here. Most probably it is gone. 
and um, yeah I'm very very bullish and let me know your thoughts and definitely if you find this video useful please do not forget to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel I cover SNBL time to time so definitely if you are Zander lovers this is a channel you should subscribe so anyway my friend um we had a wonderful day today and i'm expecting another massive green day tomorrow so let's uh, hold it strong and let's make some money thank you again for watching this particular video take care and peace